Good evening. Well, that is actually what the police are still doing out here right now. They are still actively looking for the shooter. And as you can see behind me, it is still a very chaotic scene here as police continue their search. Now, I was able to speak to some of the nearby residents in the neighborhood, and you can tell that they were visibly disturbed by the violence that has rocked their community. Many of them have still trying to come to terms with the violence that ultimately uh, took the lives of four people. Now, as I was saying, this is somewhat of a quiet uh, neighborhood. That's, I was speaking to some of the rest, and they say this kind of thing doesn't usually happen in their neighborhood. It's relatively quiet. The neighbors know each other, and it was, as they were pointing out to me earlier, it's right by a school. What we are seeing right now is literally across the street from Lister Elementary School, and out of uh, a sense of caution in order to make sure everyone is okay, police have actually locked down this school and the Boys and Girls uh, Club programs that were taking place at this school while they continue to look for their shooter. Now, as we were saying earlier, uh, the person that was transported to the hospital with life threatening injuries, unfortunately, that person has passed and police are saying that they are advising people that are still uh, that live in this neighborhood but haven't made it home yet to stay away for the time being because they need the space and the opportunities to do their jobs not only to find out what happened but to also track down this suspect. But for now we're live in Tacoma, Lionel Donovan, King 5 News.